Hello there, you're very welcome to number 12 Harbour Cottages here right beside Carlingford Village. So you may well be familiar with Harbour Cottages if you've been watching these videos. I'm looking forward to telling you about number 12. It's actually a four bedroom mid terraced property which runs to around about 130 square metres. So there's plenty of property going on here behind me. It's a very smart looking property. It's very recently been fully painted inside and out and it has the benefit of a lovely zero maintenance uh, south southwest facing back garden so plenty boxes ticked there in terms of your ideal uh, requirements for a property also the location you're just within strolling distance of carlingford village here and um, in a very very well maintained quiet uh, popular development um, which has designated parking as well as plenty and um, visitor parking spaces but as i say is close to the village close to the sailing club right around the corner from the Four Seasons and has this amazing, obviously, Carlingford life at your doorstep. Whether you be on shore or on land or on, at sea, there's so much going on in Carlingford. And um, this particular property has a lovely view of Sleeve Foy behind. Now, um, we'll be finishing off today with the back garden, so hopefully you'll stick around and get to see that. And um, if you have any questions about this property, do let us know. We're ready now to do viewings, so give us a call. I hope that you're enjoying the virtual viewings. Please do subscribe if you find them to be of use. Tick on the bell so that you get notifications. Whenever I do a virtual viewing, you'll see it dropped there, and then you'll get first look at our new stock coming on market. So folks, let's have a look inside number 12, and thanks for joining me. And as I say, welcome to Harbour Cottages in Carlingford. So we're going to get started inside, but I want to begin with something that takes my attention here at the front door. And it's an answer to a question that I am asked now in every single viewing for every single property. And that is, what is the broadband speed like in this property? So you'll see here in the hallway, the uh, Wi-Fi box, the router is there and I've tested it and there's really good broadband speed here. So particularly if work from home is important for you or if you're just a family of high usage, particularly if you've got teenagers and kids, then that magic little box there is going to be your saving grace. So anyway, so we're now inside the entrance hallway and you can see lovely wooden floors and this property is coming to market in beautiful condition, having been very recently painted and very stylishly painted, lovely deep colours as well. So I'm now in the living room area. It's a sort of an open plan layout. Again, what I always talk about is this Harbour Cottages DNA. In this property, it's evolved a little bit because it's more of your deeper colours, but with that same important, beautiful, feature stove area and in this instance a really gorgeous sort of contemporary looking freestanding stove there so that would be a really really comfortable room with that blasting out the heat although it's summertime at the moment and it's lovely and sunny so a really nice well proportioned space there as you can see plenty room for a full suite of furniture which is always the important thing that you should look for in a room regardless of whether or not you have a suite of furniture but you'll be getting one and you'll want to know that there's plenty of room for it. So take note of these kind of things. And then this space is big enough for multi-purpose. So you see there the dining area. So therefore you have the kitchen, which we're going to look at now. And then you have the, the dining area and then here onto the uh, relaxing living room area. Now we'll go around here and have a peep around the kitchen. Lovely, modern, fresh kitchen. Everything here is integrated. You have an integrated dishwasher, integrated oven there straight in front and then around to the side you have integrated fridge freezer very simple again that lovely wooden floor running through this whole area which i love to see and lovely tile splashback and look really nice features you see there the little shelf with the little pieces of interest over the kitchen because the kitchen shouldn't always be just about work and cooking it should also be nice so that when you're standing in the kitchen as i am now and i'm not necessarily slaving over dinner that the place still looks lovely. So that is the kitchen and it is really nice. Now next to the kitchen is the bathroom. Now, after the kitchen, I should be showing you the back garden, but I'm going to show you the upstairs accommodation first because I really want you to see that and then we'll finish off there. So stay tuned and you'll get to see a gorgeous back garden when we're finishing. Now, let's go on upstairs. So I'm here at first floor level and because this is a three story house, You'll see all of the doors are closed because they're all fire doors. So bear with me whilst I open and close doors as I show you around. In here, it's a separate shower to bath. Shower's lovely. 
a really nicely tiled, a sort of a stone look tile there. Again with the wooden floor and then there is your bath. That tile splash back continuing around there. Lovely fresh room there with natural light and ventilation. So that is the bathroom and then in to the first of the four bedrooms. Lovely big space this. You can see there, really spacious room, okay? And you have here on one side there, a built-in wardrobe, so great for the storage. And then I'll give you a look outside because in this house, you have a beautiful view there of um, Sleeve Foy, the mountain. It's just lovely. So I would just really relish the opportunity to be able to look at that and gaze at that every day. Now that is, as I say, the first bedroom, really good size with a built-in wardrobe, wooden floors. And then we move on. There's a lovely landing that actually, very sweet. Hot press beside me. This is the second room and this is really interesting. They've actually decided to make a second reception room out of this and it works really well. I really like to see where houses are kind of adapting to different preferences and definitely so the case here. So you can see there, um, it's very comfortable. It's actually really lovely. And I mean, it's a very capable bedroom size as well. But if, if for example, you only needed three bedrooms and this is obviously um, to have extra space maybe for watching TV or maybe for gaming, then this is a great solution. Then in here, uh, this is um, sort of walk-in wardrobe space there. Okay, there you go. So that is technically the second bedroom out to the front of the house. And then we carry on up the stairs up to the next level for the next bedrooms. Now this property comes across about 130 square meters. There's plenty space in it. This is the next room, lovely. We see it here with twin beds, plenty space around. Beautiful condition, lovely wooden floor throughout, as we've already said. We're at the back of the house here. Oh, it's lovely and cozy up here with the sun coming in through there. And then the fourth space, there we go. Now you could, I suppose, equally put a double in there, but that is such as it is now. Lovely bedroom there. And again, you're at the front of the house. And then from here, you can actually see across to there to the Mourne Mountains too. It looks like Sleeve Donard in the background. And of course also we're overlooking, there's a green area. So there's plenty, plenty space between where we are and any next properties. So nobody's looking in on top of each other here, which is lovely. I mean, Harbour Cottages is such a really nicely laid out development. Now, so here we are in the back garden. It's a lovely, simple space. It's zero, I mean zero maintenance because this is artificial grass. I'm seeing more and more of that um, all the time because it's becoming so popular for people. And it's fully secure. So for example, if for children being safe in the back garden or for pets being safe in the back garden, dogs, um, this is a very suitable space. And you can see there where we are then, just, I just try to brighten that up a bit so you see it there. So that's the back garden there. And um, we are basically a southwest aspect here. So you can see there also a patio in one part and then the artificial grass here. And as I'd mentioned to you from upstairs, um, there we have the beautiful view. Uh, well, you can't actually see it because it's, it's there. In behind there, sometimes it's difficult for me to get the focus from the camera. Beautiful sleeve foy there overlooking us. Now, the property, just to recap on it, it's a four bedroom mid terraced property. Although in this instance, they've opted to make two reception rooms and three bedrooms, but that's only down to preference. There's no technical, you know, basis for that. It's simply the current occupants preferences and use of the house. So four bedrooms, I think about 130 square meters makes it really, really spacious. And the other thing that I didn't show you was there's a guest bathroom downstairs off the kitchen. So you have on the downstairs, you have that lovely open plan with the guest toilet and the utility. And then on the first floor, uh, two bedrooms and a bathroom. And then on the second floor, two bedrooms, bathroom. Lovely accommodation overlooking the green area to the back and then, to, sorry, the green area to the front. And then this lovely, very private space, um, lovely mature trees to the back. So folks, I'd love to know what you think about this. So um, whilst you're watching this, 
please do let us know what you think what's your favorite thing about it personally i think for me it's got to be the back garden anyway i hope that you've enjoyed this virtual viewing and if you have any questions or if you would like to arrange a viewing then of course give us a call the other thing that i must ask you to do if you haven't already done it is please to subscribe because it helps us enormously and it means that we can keep working with the virtual viewings and it means that we know that you're enjoying them and that they're of use to you so thank you in advance as i say for subscribing to the youtube channel very exciting times folks thanks again for joining me and greetings and best wishes from number 12 harbour cottages in carlingford bye bye <laughs>